Hi everyone. So I've been wanting to make this video for a long time and I've been thinking about it a lot lately. So I want to talk about what a famous 18th century mathematician, the personal computer, the US economy, the spread of disease, and the bunny population on Earth all have in common. And so many of you have probably figured out that I'm talking about exponential growth. Uh, and exponential growth is a ubiquitous phenomenon in planet Earth, on planet Earth, uh, and in the universe at large. So many, many, many processes are governed by exponential growth. Uh, and I've decided that in this short lecture series, I'm going to talk about exponential growth. Um, this is the overview, and I'm going to walk you through what you're going to see. Okay, so I think that this is just a fascinating theory. It ties a lot of my absolute favorite topics together uh, from number theory and uh, kind of, you know, population dynamics to differential equations. Uh, it's very relevant today. I know a lot of us have been thinking about disease spread with COVID-19. Uh, you know, lots and lots and lots of systems are governed by exponential growth. And so that's what we're going to talk about. Uh, I'm Steve Brunton. You can find uh, more updates uh, at Eigen Steve on Twitter, and I'm going to walk you through kind of the overview of what you're going to see in this uh, short series on exponential growth. So economic growth uh, is one of the major areas that, you know, you can see exponential, uh, exponential patterns. So I'm going to show you some examples, uh, and then I'm going to give you an overview of what we're going to see. So this is a plot of the long-term growth of the U.S. GDP, the gross domestic product. This is not the stock market. The stock market's much more uh, volatile, but this is the actual gross uh, kind of production of the U.S. over time for about 100 years. And you can see that this is very nearly exponential, uh, even given uh, the Great Depression and recessions and stock market crashes. This is very, you know, uh, exponential in time. So economic growth is one area. Another really, really important area uh, where exponential growth comes in is in Moore's law of increasing uh, computer power. So computers are built up out of transistors, and Moore's law says, roughly speaking, that the number of transistors doubles every two years uh, so that we get more and more powerful computers uh, as time goes on. I mean, this has been central in uh, in, in the modern technological era. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a whole video on Moore's Law. Uh, I'm also going to do a whole series on epidemiology and the spread of disease. And this is, for example, the flatten the curve uh, of COVID-19 plot. And for short times, you see that uh, viruses spreading through a population spread exponentially. Uh, and then eventually, as enough of that population uh, is infected, it stops being exponential. And this is a really important point that I'm going to I'm going to make a lot of attention, uh, give it a lot of attention to, is this idea that lots and lots of systems grow exponentially for a while, but eventually there's always something that stops that system from keeping growing exponentially. Always there's some reason why that system saturates or why some effect stops it from growing exponentially. And so I'll make the claim that exponential growth doesn't actually really exist forever in any system. We have a finite world and a finite population and you can't grow exponentially forever. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, kind of different processes that give rise to exponential growth and exponential decay. So I'm going to talk about, you know, the classic uh, population growth. So if you have two bunnies one year, you'll have four bunnies the next, you'll have eight bunnies the next, and so on and so forth. Uh, similarly with radioactive decay, if I have, you know, something that has a half-life of one year, if I have 40 grams this year, I'll have 20 grams next year, and so on and so forth. So we'll go through some examples of systems that have exponential growth and exponential decay, uh, like compound interest in the bank is a really good example. Um, I will also have a video on why this is actually called exponential growth. So we're going to actually go back through history and look at Euler uh, and Euler's number E and how we can derive uh, kind of formulas for this exponential growth and how it relates to differential equations. Um, and again, anything with Euler, you know it's a big deal. Uh, so that's, that's going to be kind of fun. 
Okay, so we're going to talk about systems that have exponential growth. We're going to talk about why it's called exponential growth. Uh, we're also going to look at why exponential growth always must end. So even though uh, you know your bunny population would grow exponentially, because we have a finite Earth or a finite you know neighborhood or whatever, something is going to cause this exponential growth to eventually saturate. Okay, it might be uh, finite resources, it might also be predators, so we'll talk about predator-prey models and how the existence of wolves that eat bunnies also, you know, stops the system from growing exponentially forever. Um, so that's also stuff we're going to talk about. I'm also going to talk a little bit about SIR models, disease models, and how, again, uh, we know that infections do grow exponentially for a time, but there are always extra factors in the model that cause the exponential growth to eventually saturate and taper off. Okay, so we're going to talk about this in the context of, of uh, disease models, too. Uh, and I think based on this idea that exponential growth is everywhere, it is just ubiquitous in lots and lots of uh, systems from, you know, radioactive systems, bunny population systems, the financial sector, disease spread, uh, you name it. You know, hopefully uh, YouTube subscribers grow exponentially. Um, the more base you have or social media grows exponentially. The larger the base you have, the more people see it and the faster, uh, you know, the more exposure. Okay, so lots and lots of systems are exponential. But again, because these exponential systems can't grow forever, there's huge implications. So I'm also going to talk about kind of the technological implications of, of exponential growth in transportation, in computers, in artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, and some takeaways for you know, us as humans. Okay, so this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm really excited about uh, talking about exponential growth, and we're going to kind of break it down into a few key topics. All right, thank you.